Hello, and welcome to your first lesson with the nurse dolls. And we're going to review how to listen to your heartbeat. Okay? Now, the first things we need is our equipment. We would need a watch. And a watch with a second hand is very important. So you can count the beats, and we count one beat that goes for one minute. Then you would need a stethoscope. Okay? Now, if you don't have a stethoscope, you can ask your mom or dad who's in the healthcare career, or you can ask them to take, go to the uniform store. They're normally under $10, so that's really easy to do. Or you can just pretend or use one of the ones that you have for your dolls if you have a doll set that has a stethoscope. Okay? Um, and let's go over the parts of the stethoscope. You're going to have your earpieces. You're going to have your tubing. And then you're going to have your, um, at the end, a bell. And this is your diaphragm. Nicola and Nicholas, we're going to go over the stethoscope. Tell us the parts of the stethoscope. Which part is the ear, the um, ear piece? All right, great. And then how about the tubing of the stethoscope? All right, great. And how about the bell? We have a bell. Yes, that would be the one that Nicholas has, has a bell on it. Nicola does not have a bell, but she was showing where the bell would be at if, if there was on her stethoscope. Okay, and a diaphragm. All right. With the bell, you're going to hear <clears throat> low frequency sounds. Now, that would be like a murmur. A heart murmur is going to be, when you hear your heart sounds, uh, goes lub-dub, lub-dub. Now, if you have a murmur, you have a lub-swish-dub, lush lub swish dub and our um, heart murmur um is our irregular heart um sound and it'll happen in the middle of your regular lub dub so you really don't want to hear that but if you do um, some a lot of children grow out of it um the next thing is the diaphragm you're going to listen to your high frequency sounds and that's going to be with your lungs and with your um, your heart sounds. So you can use the diaphragm. And a lot of people always use the diaphragm. Now let's review the bell. What sounds does the, the, the bells pick up? Low frequency, which would be the heart murmur. Heart murmur. That's correct. All right. Then your diaphragm will pick up the high frequency sounds. And that would be... Heart and lungs. lungs. Okay, all right. And then we're going to just take the stethoscope off, turn our earpieces in so they can fit snug in our ear canals, and we're going to be able to put it over the left side of our heart and hear the lub dub, lub dub. Each lub dub is one heartbeat. So you want to have 60 to 100 heartbeats in a minute. If it's under or over, then it may be some issues going on. And it depends on the age of the person. But we just want to go over our basics for you for right now. We are going to put our, ear, our stethoscopes on. And we're going to open our ear pieces and turn them inward. So that will help us hear with our ear canal. Then we're going to put our diaphragm on our left side of our chest, which is where the heart is located at. Let's put our diaphragm on the left hand side of the heart and we're going to listen to the heart are you hearing you hear lub dub lub dub and um you don't hear a swish in the middle okay no swishing because that would mean you have a heart murmur so we have the timer on the cell phone all right let's start it all right it's been a minute and what was your heartbeat nicholas 82 Great job. All right. And Nicola? 96. All right. And what's the normal range for a heartbeat? 60 to 100. Great job. High five, Nicholas. High five, Nicola. Y'all make great future nurses. So thank you for tuning in to our first lesson on how to listen to your heartbeat. Thank you. Hello. This is Nurse Nicole again, Dr. Nicole M. Brown, and we are over here at the Nurse Dolls Clinic. We have Nurse Linda here with her first patient, and she's doing an assessment. So she would like to include how to listen to a heartbeat. So she has her nice, trusty stethoscope on, and she has the earpieces in her ears. She has the tubing and the bell at the bottom.
excuse me, and the diaphragm at the bottom. So she's going to listen to the left side of the patient's heart, chest, for one minute. She's going to look at her watch to get the heartbeat, okay? All right, it's been a minute. Miss Jones, your heartbeat is 84. That's good. That's within that 60 to 100 range. That's very good. All right. Thank you, Nurse Linda.